Hi everyone, I've got a May favourites, it's a bit early I think because it's not the end of May yet but I thought I'd get it up because I haven't done a favourites for forever um, so here we go. Um, I recently got this from The Body Shop, um, it's a chamomile gentle eye makeup remover and I thought it was going to be creamy and then it, when you use it it's like watery consistency so I quite liked that and it doesn't sting your eyes at all and it's just it gets all your eye makeup off really well and I think it was about £8 so it's not cheap but I think it's worth it you get quite a lot in here it's like 250ml um, but yeah you can get that from the body shop and I like that as a eye makeup remover okay, I don't really use fake tan as such um, because, you know, I'm quite comfortable with the colour of my skin most of the time and, and all that jazz. But if I'm going out on a night out or I just want a bit more of a healthy glow, a bit more of a colour on me, um, I've discovered this um, with the help of my sister. <laughs> and um, it's a Sandra Pay wash off. I think it's a new thing. Um, in dark instant glow body lotion um, and I think they do like a mousse of it as well but I'm okay with the lotion so I just put this on for the night and yeah <laughs> and then wash it off but it just gives a really nice glow to like your legs your arms and that's all I use it for really um, but yeah and it's not too expensive because some central pay things are quite expensive but it's not that bad I got the Pro Long Wear foundation recently from MAC um, and I got it in NC30, oh, NC40, <laughs> um, and some people were asking if I, do, if I can do a review on it, but um, I'm not sure if I'll do a full review, let me know if you want one, but so far I do like it, I find it lighter than the Studio Fix Fluid, doesn't smell like that either, and uh, what else can I say, the finish isn't as matte, so that's quite nice for this time of year, um, it does last all day, um, I powder it as well a, a bit, um, yeah, it's just, I quite like it. It's, it gives a nice finish and it's a nice foundation, so I like it as much as, as much as Studio Fix Fluid. So, yeah. Her few mice um, is between Misty or Cherie, which is my favourite, and Naughty Alice, Vivian Westwood. Um, and I thought I'd show this one because this is the one I don't talk about as much, but I just love it. It's just such a, I find it such a girly fragrance I'm wearing it at the moment and it's just really nice to just go and smell it I can't explain it <laughs> but it's just a really cute bottle as well and I just love that it's a really nice one for spring summer powder wise I've been using this since I went to Paris um the Sephora powder it's like a mineral foundation I think it's actually a foundation but I've been using it light light-handedly as powder um and it's like that and then you have another bit that flips up with a mirror and the a sponge and um this is in bronze 35 matte tan um yeah it's really good it, it is quite heavy though so i'd you've got to have a light hand with it if you don't want to look too like flawless but if you do like the flawless look it can make you look absolutely flawless <laughs> but the only thing is it's like one shade i think darker than my skin color so at the moment uh when i go on holiday it will match me but that's the only thing with this it's a little bit darker but I think it'll be perfect for winter because it's, I don't know, it just gives a really perfect matte finish and yeah, I don't need it as heavy at the moment but I really like this. If you can get your hands on it, um, I know you probably can in America and in Europe, you can't in the UK because we suck. <laughs> Lipstick wise, I've been, I think it's nude, well anything really, but okay, basically I've been wearing a lot of Please Me by MAC which is a bright pink which looks like that, um, which you've, you would have seen me wearing this in some of my videos. I really like it, it's a matte finish, um, it stays on your, lip, on your lips for quite a while, it smells nice. It's a nice shade, just go and try it out. And I also like Brave, which is what I'm wearing now. And it's like a My Lips But Better kind of colour, and it looks like that. So yeah, that's Brave, I really love this colour, and I think maybe the name puts people off of it but it's not like a brave lipstick at all it's it's really toned down it's just like oh focus it's just like that so that's what brave looks like and it's such a gorgeous color it's one of my favorite mac ones so that's what i've been wearing recently oh with lip gloss on top but just my normal lip glosses i didn't think i'd show them because they never change blush wise um i've been wearing actually a bit more really light bronzer than blush i kind of wear it depends what day, what I feel like on the day. But I like Lilith scent. This is always in my makeup bag. It's a cream blusher. 
and it's kind of peachy but it's a really nice light colour and you know it just gives your cheeks a nice sheer look, no sheer, <laughs> gives your cheeks a nice dewy finish with a nice peachy colour. Um, and then I've also been liking Mocha but I only got this recently, um, it looks like that but you've got to have a light hand with it because it's a matte finish and it goes on quite strong but I'm wearing that at the moment if you can see um, and yeah I really like it. I was sent this from Sleek uh, recently, it's the, it's called Lumia, it's like um, it's kind of like I think what the YSL Touchy Clay, Touchy Clay is, um, it looks like that, sorry it's a bit dirty and you pump it and it comes out and you can put it like under your eyes as a highlight, Just it's just a highlighter really um, yeah, you could probably try and use it as a concealer, but you can use it in other places. You don't have to just use it as a concealer. Um, but yeah, I do like this. It's not something I think I'll grab for every day, but it's nice to have in your collection. But I don't like the packaging that much. I find it a bit dull and... Oh. <laughs> yeah, I find the packaging a bit dull and like to pull it out your handbag, it's like, oh, <laughs> it's not pretty. But um, it's a good product. Um, all my nails, it's... I think my all time love on my nails is red or raspberry colour like I'm wearing now. This is an American apparel colour but um, for spring summer I love this. It's um, <clears throat> Peach Melba from Barium and yeah it's just a lovely peach colour. I think it's new, correct me if I'm wrong but I really like it and um, it reminds me of an Illamasqua one that I've wanted for a long time so this is a lot cheaper and nice. I set my brows with this from e.l.f. It's the, um, it's like a wet gloss lash and brow thingy magic but it's really I find it really good and it saves me from spending loads of money on like something that sets your brows because it's such a simple product and you don't need to spend like over a tenner on it and it's only a few pounds I think this is like one one fifty I'm not sure I'll put the link uh, down below but yeah this is just really handy to have in your bag to set your brows with um, another really really big favour that I wanted to share with everyone is um, this mascara and it is so good, it's like one of the best mascaras I've ever tried, I'm so raving about it right now. Um, it's the Max Factor 2000 calorie, what does it say, I don't know, um, dramatic look mascara, focus, there we go, and it is just, I can't rave about it enough, um, if you really one slash needs some volume and length just this is really good it just gives you really black really thick dramatic lashes like that's what it says as well it's actually just so good the brush looks like that so yeah I mean I don't know what you think of the brush it's kind of normal I guess but just the product is so good I just I think it's I think it's under a tenner I hope or around ten pounds but it is really worth it if it is ten pounds um, because that's quite a lot for drugstore, but, um, I just can't say enough good things about this, and it's definitely something I'd repurchase. Yeah, I'm actually not wearing it today, how stupid, I forgot to put mascara on today, but just trust me, it's a really good mascara, and, oh, um, I think if you layer and layer it, it might get a bit, it might clump, but I haven't had a problem with clumping, but I don't usually layer, so, yeah. If you usually put one or two layers on of mascara, this is just fine, it's just, a really good mascara. As always, always, this has been in like every favourites video, my sleek contour kit, just thought I'd mention it again because it's still one of my favourites, I just use it, I use it a lot, um, and I've, look it's not even on hip pan or anything, hip pan, but yeah, it's just, it lasts forever, and the highlighter's nice as well, I should use that more. So you've probably seen this a lot already, and I'm sorry if it, oh my god what the hell is that? So you've probably seen this box quite a lot already, um, it's the Glossy Box, you might be sick and tired of hearing about them but it is a really good idea so I thought I'd um, show you all, all my box in this video. Um, yeah so it's called Glossy Box, it's like the UK version of, what is that fly? UK version of Birch Box that I think they have in the US and basically you sign up, uh, you can sign up for these boxes and it's about £10 a month and you receive some um, sample sizes of more higher end products so and you can like cancel the membership at any time so you're not um, I think so you're not tied into paying all you know all year or something. The box is really cute um, it was so cute to open when I got it and it's like that and you get 
it's like a little CD and disc in here and a note and this tells you about uh, the glossy box and everything but this tells you again about uh, everything that's in the box and then you get this little pink box which had it was tied sorry I'm just really bad at presentation but the presentation of the box was just so nice it was gorgeous to open um, so it comes in this little pink box with a little symbol there open it up with this black tissue paper and that's what you get inside Ooh. and it's just gorgeous the way it's laid out is really nice they really put a lot of thought into the presentation and um yeah it's just really cute um so I'll show you what I got I got um the rapid repair spray is for your hair and it smells really nice um and it's from Alter Alterna I haven't heard of a lot of these brands most of these brands I haven't heard of that are in here but it's nice to try some things out that are new sometimes buy an over nano skin tech thingy magic so this is a cleanser suitable for more normal to dry skin types. But I haven't tried it yet, but I'll let you know if I like it. And this is a body lotion, and it's essential oils of eucalyptus, geranium, um, lavender and peppermint. It smells really nice, but if you don't like that kind of lavender smell, you probably won't like it, but that is a body lotion. You get um, an All For Eve lipstick, which is a gorgeous red. <laughs> uh, you know, I love my red lipsticks. So that's what the red lipstick looks like. It's really nice. It's like perfect. I don't want to use it up. Um, and it's like that up close. All for Eve. Um, and then what I was most excited about in this box was NARS. Because I know what NARS is. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's just, it's the Orgasm Illuminator. So that's really good for this time of year as well. It looks like this. And you've probably seen this, you know, before in some other videos, but it's just really good size for a sample product. And if I put it on, it's like that when you put it on. And then if you rub it in, can you see that bit of glisten there? It's a really nice, really nice kind of natural highlighter. So that's what was in my glossy box. And I hope I remember, I hope I told you everything about it that, you need to know if not uh, ask me anything down below or I'll put it in the down bar but yeah I think the idea is really good it's different I've never heard of something like that before it's a 10 pounds a month is months is 10 pounds a month is quite reasonable um, you know if you can afford it so yeah I just thought I'd show you what was in my one if I get another one and you do want to see a whole proper big review about it let me know just tell me down below because I didn't know if you wanted a whole video on the glossy box I thought I'd include two random favourites um, one is this necklace which I've shown you before but it's from Topshop and I just absolutely love it it's this turquoise um, kind of stone cross with these beads, it goes to quite down. I think it was, I think it was fourteen pounds, which is quite a lot. I know, but it's just a really good piece for summer. I think wearing it on a holiday and just it goes with everything. Also, love. I only got these yesterday, but I know they're going to be a favourite. These sunglasses from I got them from Camden when I was out with um, my sister and Shell and Louise Vintage, and I got them for five pounds, and <laughs> I just love them. I think they're so cool um but they're like an alexander wang knockoff but for a five year old like yes get in um yeah uh, so that's everything um if you're wondering on my face i'm wearing tempting eyeshadow on my eyes i told you i'm wearing brave lipstick um mocha blush and my earrings are from urban outfitters i got them in a the sale for four pounds yes and oh my ring is from h&m Dune. My outfit today is quite simple, quite black and white again, but I'm wearing this top which is just from H&M, I found it in the sale, um, and it has these like sheer panel, it has a sheer panel at the side. Um, I'm wearing this scarf which I got yesterday at Spitalfields Market, um, it's like an Alexander McQueen knockoff, but it was £5, yes, and uh, I keep doing that, it's really sad. I got this belt from Primark, um, I think I show you, showed you before, I love it, and my shorts are from um, American Apparel, they're 
high waisted and I just love them and they're kind of like corduroy if that's how you say it material and with this I probably wear my tassel bag because I'm just obsessed with this tassel bag at the moment um, but if not this bag probably my satchel because it's a bit really black and white <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed my favourites, um, let me know down below, leave any questions or requests as well, and yeah, I think that is everything. Hope you're all having a nice day and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Mwah.